the animation is top flight. A piece of artwork is only as great as, I think, the people behind it. And I want to do something unique that could only be found here. Can this see it becoming its own type of genre of movie? It's a little bit of sci-fi, a little bit of rock and roll. I don't think there's ever been a science fiction movie quite like this movie. Talented uh, people, many of them kids. It's giving opportunities to young people on this island to stay home and earn a living. These are the young adults that are going to go see it. And so I think it's really special that way. They're 19, 20, 21, and they're putting on the screen exactly the kind of thing that they like. There's a certain uh, originality to it that I like how the characters are drawn, how the plot is laid out. and It just makes for an exciting time for the big island because there's nothing like that. On the east side of the big island, there's a severe lack of opportunity for our best and our brightest youth. This coast was a bustling coast in its heyday, uh, when plantation was in its prime and been a train going up and down the coast delivering the cane to market. It has its roots rooted in agriculture. It's a green coast. What is sustainability? Is it going to always be agriculture for us? Or maybe thinking about diversifying our economy, such as you know improving our human capital. And hold on to the dream. You know, making a decision between moving forward to your career or, you know, staying living, um, living with your family is a really tough decision that a lot of people have to make. I'd been washing dishes and going to school before. Three years making sandwiches, it was really not what I wanted to do. <laughs> For the first time, I felt like I had, a, had the potential of getting a job. I feel lucky to be here at the dish job, for sure. It gives us a chance to do it here where we grew up. The kids are caught in between giving up all the love that they have, the love for the island, the love for their family in exchange for having a shot at their dreams and their hopes. And I don't think that's a fair choice to make. These guys have made a commitment to the, uh, to the Big Island, to what, to what Hawaii is all about. They could, I, I know this, they've had many, many offers to go elsewhere. They could finish this easily in Los Angeles. They could go other, uh, other places. I know they've been enticed to go elsewhere. They want to stay here because they feel connected uh, to this land. This is going to be a breakthrough film. It's going to be different. It's going to showcase production here in Hawaii and the effect uh, will be enormous here. Because what will happen, like it happens everywhere, look at New Zealand, look at Canada, some films out of Canada, look at China, look at other you know, emerging film centers. It takes this kind of breakthrough film to build an industry. I give it its blessings and, and uh, hope it blows up like a giant balloon and, and makes tons of money to generate goodwill.